Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about important questions on motion in a plane. Before that, those who are watching my videos first time, do subscribe and like the videos and do share the videos with your friends. Dear students, in previous video we discussed about motion in a plane important questions. In today's class, I am going to discuss about the important questions on motion in a straight line okay here first of all the two mark type questions those are first one is what is one dimensional motion give an example next one what is two dimensional motion give an example then mean next one what is three dimensional motion give an example fourth one distinguish between distance and displacement next one distinguish between speed and velocity next one distinguish between uniform and non uniform motion next one define acceleration of a body and mention its SI unit. You have to define the acceleration and mention the unit. Next one is distinguish between instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity. These are the possible two mark type questions. Next, I will move towards the three mark type questions. Okay. These are the three mark type questions in which first one is draw position time graph okay position time graphs there are few possible graphs are there you have to draw each graph and mention the coordinates with respect to x and y axis in the same way next one is draw velocity time graph okay velocity time graph here also there are some possible graphs are there you have to mention those graphs okay these are the three mark possible questions next i will move to the five mark type questions okay five mark type questions here the first one is derive the equation v equal to v naught plus 80 using vt graph velocity time graph you have to draw the diagram and you have to obtain the expression okay next one is derive the equation x equal to v naught t plus half a t square using the vt graph next one derive the equation v square equal to v naught square plus 2 a x using vt graph okay for all these uh, three questions the diagram is same by using the same diagram you have to derive the derivations these all are the possible important questions for midterm exam as well as annual exam so all of you do prepare these questions okay that helps you score more in a annual exams thank you wish you all the best for your exams